today's video is an extension of some past videos that we did around the network traffic analysis module of IMC. On those particular uh, videos, we focus more on the HP uh, networking product, and uh, this video is going to focus more on the enablement of the Nortel Avaya Ethernet routing switch series and its use of IP fix as a collector for the uh, network traffic analysis module within IMC. This will show us how we can answer some of these questions of what applications are on my network, who's using my bandwidth, or really I'm just having problems uh, configuring uh, network traffic analysis and, and the Nortel ERS switches. Okay, before we begin, we need to make sure that the Nortel switch that we'd like to utilize to collect flow information actually can uh, accomplish that task. Nortel has a, uh, a very uh, limited uh, selection of switch series that can actually collect flow information utilizing the uh, protocol IP fix. Those are the 4500, the 5000, 8300, and 8600 series uh, switches from Avaya Nortel. The next thing we need to do is make sure that the code that that switch is running actually supports IP fix. So you may have to go into Avaya support and look at the particular switch that you have and make sure that uh, the code that you're running on the switch supports IP fix. If not, go uh, into their support environment and go ahead and download that code. Uh, we're going to use the ERS4500 in this particular video, which requires uh, release 5.4. And uh, as you'll see later here in the video that we uh, actually support that environment. And then we need to confirm what UDP port that IP fix uh, is, is going to communicate back to IMC on. Uh, in this particular implementation, it is uh, port 9995. And uh, we'll show you within the uh, configuration of IMC where we configure that. As you can see, I've launched the Telnet connection against my Avaya switch. And if you're familiar with the Avaya CLI interface, we have to hit Control Y to actually get into the switch. And then I will go ahead and go into enable mode so we can uh, configure IP fix uh, on this particular switch. So the first thing we want to do is actually configure it uh, IP fix or enable IP fix globally on the switch. So we'll do the config T. <clears throat> and we'll go ahead and do IP IP fix enable. And we've just enabled IP fix globally on this particular switch. The next step we want to do is go and uh, actually enable IP fix on the specific interface or interfaces that I want to collect information from. Uh, in this particular instance, we're going to collect information from port uh, 23, uh, which is the port that is actually connecting my switch uh, here on my lab to my internet gateway. Uh, so it gives us a more robust and, and more things to look at as we start collecting information from uh, from the uh, the flow information from IP fix. So what we'll do is go ahead and go into uh, interface fast ethernet. We'll do all so we capture all of them. And then what we'll do is enable IP fix on port 23. And there we have it. We've enabled IP fix on that particular port 23. So if I get out of this, the only other thing I may want to do is uh, set some aging or timeout timers to where um, I collect information or I actually will send that information up uh, routinely to the collector itself. So on the Nortel switches, I can actually set an aging timer uh, to, to allow me to do this. So that particular command is IP IP fix. And we will do uh, slot one, con keeping consistent with the way uh, Nortel does their uh, uh, CLI environment. Uh, they view everything as, as, as really a, uh, a chassis almost. So a fixed port switch is just always slot one. And we'll do aging interval. And we'll set that interval to 30. Oh. Need to spell correctly. Okay, and then the last thing we probably need to do is set some type of collector address so this information that we're collecting can actually be sent up to IMC. And so to do that, again, we do IP IP fix, 
and we'll set collector and we'll give it to send it to the address of uh, IMC here on my network and we'll enable that and we should be done so if I exit out of this do a show running uh, We'll go down here to the IP fix information, and you'll see here where we have actually enabled IP fix globally. Okay, we've uh, built the interfaces and enabled port 23 with IP fix. We've set the aging timer and the collector for the IP fix uh, configuration on this uh, particular Nortel 4500. So with that, we're done with the switch configuration. We can get out of this and move on to the configuration of the uh, IMC uh, module itself. Okay, so now that we've got the uh, switch configured to uh, start commu communicating uh, IP fix or flow information up to uh, IMC, we've got to configure IMC to accept that information. So uh, here I am at uh, my home page within IMC and I'll go into services. I'll go into traffic analysis and audit and settings and start the configuration uh, of the particular uh, device here within IMC. The first thing that I want to do though is go in and check some parameters that uh, and make sure that they're enabled uh, to collect some information that is going to be very useful for us here in the future. Right. So uh, by default the uh, TOS MPLS uh, traffic analysis is disabled and so is this unknown application traffic analysis. What we want to do is go ahead and enable both of those and you would just select enable and hit OK and then go to the next uh, uh, selection hit enable and then hit OK and you'll set both of those parameters enable but I want to make sure that we catch this because uh, this is uh, disabled by default okay so the first thing we want to do is actually add the device into uh, our management solution here and we will add our selected device which is our Nortel switch into the environment uh, we've modified the SNMP port uh, that it's communicating on to be 190, 162 and we'll go ahead and enable that so now we've successfully added that particular device to the environment here in traffic uh, or the NTA module next we'll go back and uh, looking at our flowchart here configure the server so now this is pretty straightforward and there's only a couple changes that we need to make but one thing that we, we do want to bring up is the fact that you could have multiple servers uh, that we're pointing NTA collectors at uh, to collect information and this may be just to offload some of the uh, processing of the environment uh, amongst a bunch of different servers since I only have a couple collectors sitting out there we'll go ahead and, and uh, configure this particular server uh, and bind it with that Nortel switch so the Nortel switch is actually uh, uh, allowed to communicate to uh, IMC so the first thing I want to do here is uh, highlight an area where we've got to add a new port into the listening port environment uh, of NTA. By default, NTA is listening on ports uh, 9020, 9021, and 4343. Those are going to be your standard listening ports for SFlow and NetFlow uh, that are pretty much configured by default within uh, the NTA module or of IMC. We've got to add port 9995 as that is the port that is uh, IP fix is communicating on uh, from uh, from a Nortel standpoint so I need to add that into my listening port environment and then I want to go here and select the traffic analysis uh, information uh, to be collected off of that particular switch and then I'll go ahead and deploy it okay here it shows that we've deployed successfully the processor and the receiver and we can continue on with our configuration of uh, the t next uh, step which is actually the task that we need to generate to go actually collect this information or gather this information from the switch so from here I'll hit add <clears throat> and I will add a task that is looking at the interface so I could go and add a task that looks at probes or certain applications or hosts 
<coughs> but what I want to do here is just look at this particular interface. I'll hit next. And I will select the task name, and this could be the Nortel um, Internet Gateway. Right? I can give it a task description. This is a port uh, facing the Internet. Okay? And here's an important thing, that if someone complains they can't see the information or, 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 or view the information, you want to review this particular selection and make sure that the particular group that they're a part of as a user has actually got uh, authorization to view the information that we're collecting. So here I just select them all somewhat by default to make it uh, simple on myself to make sure uh, I, I get everybody view. The next thing we'll ne need to do is uh, from obtain uh, basically uh, automatically the information on the particular switch port. So we've enabled IP fix on switch port 23 of the Avaya switch. So we'll go ahead and uh, click that and then enable that uh, collection point. We'll hit OK. And now we've completed the generation of the task for that particular Nortel uh, switch. Uh, that we just configured. So if I want to, I can go look at traffic analysis tasks. There's my Avaya routing switch task. <clears throat> and as you can see, I'm already generating some data over the last uh, few minutes as, as I've configured the switch and the switch is reporting up to, to IMC. Okay. If you look here, this is the reason why we wanted to enable that uh, Tossbit environment so I can start looking at my QoS environment to see if uh, it's operating appropriately or the, what I'm expecting from the way I've set it up. If I go to Applications, I'll start to look at some of the different applications that are flowing across my network. Um, in this particular instance, HTTP seems to be about 60 uh, three percent of the traffic. I have UDP protocol that is about another fourteen percent of the traffic and uh, so if I know what the traffic might be I can go in and actually select and define the the particular uh, application that uh, is to today unknown. So we know port 4500 seems to be a large portion of this undefined traffic. I know what that particular uh, port is. I believe it's IPsec. I believe it's from our uh, the NAT environment that we've uh, uh, got uh, uh, here within uh, our corporate uh, 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 connection environment, and I can just put IP sec NAT. Select OK. Hit OK again, <clears throat> and moving forward, that particular port will show up as my IP sec uh, uh, NATing environment. Okay, so that completes the configuration to uh, integrate a Nortel uh, ERS 4500 switch with IP fix enabled on it into the IMC traffic analysis module. Uh, thanks for watching and look forward to, uh, look for more uh, how-to uh, videos here in the future.